The dinosaurs at the American Museum of Natural History are getting a new addition, and this one will blow your mind in size alone. Let's go check it out. The American Museum of Natural History is home to one of the greatest dinosaur fossil collections in the world. When you head into the David H. Koch dinosaur wing, it's hard not to imagine what life was like when dinos walked the earth over 100 million years ago. While the Triceratops, T-Rex, and Stegosaurus are well known to the general public, a new find is in the spotlight meet the Titanosaur. The cast of the 122-foot-long dinosaur welcomes visitors to the fossil hall and is sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone who sees it. The wait for the Titanosaur is over, but wait still comes into question. Believe it or not, these are not actually real fossils. They'd be far too heavy to mount, so instead what they did is they made 3D fiberglass prints. So this way, it makes it accessible for people here in New York City to see it. It was still growing when it died, and uh, we are expecting that the new findings will probably approach the animals in the range of 100 tons in, 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 the, in, the, in the coming years. So the real ones are still to come. Just the single bones, some of which we have on display here, you know, weigh over a thousand pounds. So that's a hard logistic thing to do. Basically, you have to uh, dig and isolate every single bone and cover them with plaster to transport them to a museum without damage. We were able to build this entire thing uh, in four days once that it got here. So it just arrived here a week ago <laughs> and it went up. The Titanosaurus remains were found in 2014 in the Patagonia Desert region of Argentina. A farmer in the area tipped off a paleontology team from the Museo Paleontologico Iguidio Ferruglio. Little did they know they would be finding one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered. Now you can stand under, walk around this truly giant titanosaur. At 122 feet long, as you can see, he doesn't even fit in the gallery, but reaches out to hospitably welcome our visitors. What really makes this find unique is just the immense size of this animal. I mean, it's the largest animal that ever you know walked the earth so it's it's really huge i mean just having that an upper leg bone that's over two meters long is pretty spectacular but how they got that size because they ate vegetables they ate plants you know and plants have a special amount of proteins that are very very valuable for this because that was the way that they use physiologically you know to increase their body a green diet was all the rage even back in the time of the dinosaurs, the titanosaur weighed up to 70 tons, which is equal to the weight of 10 African elephants. He's also as tall as a five-story building. So wide and tall, this guy was a big one. As we move into the future, the study of paleontology becomes even more important. One of the discovery team leaders, Diego Pohl, received his PhD degree in partnership with the American Museum of Natural History, and now is bringing his finds to audiences around the world. With inspirations like Diego, the next generation of dinosaur lovers is born and helps bring new appreciation to life on Earth millions of years ago. You know, sharing our discoveries and especially really exciting discoveries like this really promotes our science. And one of the missions of paleontology in, in general terms is to bring back to society, you know, the new discoveries and, and to, you know, inspire new generations of paleontologists that in the future will keep discovering and even discover maybe bigger species than this. We're very fortunate that we have one of the great dinosaur exhibits in the entire planet here already. But we're always looking to do something else. And the museum has many icons like the blue whale, like the barosaurus, like the Tyrannosaurus rex. And this Titanosaur is the newest iconic thing that I think everyone who comes to this museum, when they see it, they're going to remember it for a very long time. My mind is blown, you know. It's just uh, amazing, you know, to have this opportunity to show up here with uh, just such an incredible creature and uh, show it to the general public that is going to go around the world because of you guys or what you do. And uh, this is fantastic. And, and uh, uh, I think for us coming from the other side of the world, you know, and showing this or what we can do from down there is really, really a, a motive to be really, really, really proud. From the Patagonia desert region of Argentina to New York City's American Museum of Natural History, the Titanosaur has made quite the journey. And I have no doubt that its popularity is going to rival its size. 
So we've checked out the new kid on the block, the Titanosaur, and I can only imagine what they're going to find in this region in the future. Reporting from New York, I'm Christy Clements.